What are your most awkward boner stories? NSFW. Every time at the female doctor's office from the age of 12-14, as soon as she would touch my balls, I would get her insta boner. Anytime at church, please rise. Duck. Too late. My boyfriend got a boner the other week when I was crying. Does that count? It was my band trip to Florida in 10th grade. Fell asleep on the bus ride down. No blankets to cover lap and wearing athletic shorts. It was the perfect storm. Woke up with two 9th grade girls looking at it. Only thing I said was, don't act like you're not impressed. Not my story but in class one day the teacher called my friend to the board. I at you not he calmly said I can't I have a boner. When I was in middle school I didn't know anything about erections. So I would just walk around the house with a hard on while wearing pajamas. And one time my mom said go figure out online what is this. I look back at these memories and cringe so hard. I worked at KFC as a teenager. I was about 17 and I got a massive hard on for no reason at all. I basically had to keep my ID pressed up against the register to keep my wood from showing. Only problem was, pressing up against the register felt good and made my D even harder. Damn I love fried chicken. About to go to prom. It'll check back in later with a story. Sitting in the living room with some relatives with my cat on my lap. I was a teenager, so random boners were not so uncommon. I was pulling a half chub and my cat saw movement and started swatting my crotch. I was a palber at a funeral, and I didn't want to be so upset that I couldn't carry the casket. So I let my mind wander off. I carried my great grandfather to the grave fully talked. This poor kid is the embodiment of this thread. Woke up with an early morning piss boner and stumbled towards the bathroom. My sister was coming out of the washroom as I was going in and she proceeded to start laughing and ran downstairs. Thinking it was my hair or whatever, long night. I go to take a piss and notice my boner was poking through my boxer hole. Not cool. I was in 7th grade, and my science teacher chose me randomly to come to the front of the room and help him with some science experiment. I don't remember what. 7th grade is when girls start to grow some ridiculous tatars. And I had been ogling a pair from my seat and had a huge erection. There was nothing I could do. I just tried to slyly maneuver it into the waistband of my jeans as I stood up. But you could still see the bulge the whole time I was in front of the class. It was super embarrassing. On the upside, I eventually ducked the chick whose boobs I was staring at. Although it took me 4 years to do so. 11th grade. Sophomore year of high school I was Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music. While I was singing Edelweiss on stage on opening night by myself I felt it developing in my pants and it was at full force at the end of the song. Every day I'm thankful I had my guitar there to cover it. But the rest of the cast backstage knew. Also, this was the same moment I realized I wanted to be a musician. Around the age of 15 I got a lift to school with my mother. Slow down. Rid it. And I get a complete random boner in the car. Ducking hormones. I managed to shimmy out of the car without my mum noticing. Later that day I'm walking to my next class and I hear a group of girls behind me saying there's the guy with a boner. Head down. Keep walking. I unknowingly came on my shirt one night and wore it to school the next day in 6th grade. I tried to play it off as me helping my dad paint my room the night before. But the general area of the oyster was pretty obvious. Less of a bonus story than a product of a bonus story. Edit. All these years later. And toothpaste never crossed my mind. I can't believe I've never noticed an awkward boner my whole life. Including in hostel rooms. I've really missed out on fun times. I'm a girl. This whole thread makes me content. I was in Spanish class my sophomore year and I had just gotten out of pay so I had gym shorts. Anyways the teacher was teaching something and asked someone to come up to the board and answer what she wrote or something. I immediately look away. But nope. Too late. She called me to go up to the board. I told her I couldn't go. So she asked me why. I just said I wasn't feeling good. She insisted but I never got up. I told her after class and she laughed. Me going down the stairs while my brother's going up. Got him right in the eye. We still say he got cockeyed. Edit. Was accident. 
whenever I'm wearing jeans and sit down. That little part where the zipper perks up makes me look transgender. Finally. My chance to shine. It happened at the tender age of 13. I was in my middle school algebra class and our teacher was letting us work in groups. I was in a group with a girl I had a crush on. She used to tease me about it a lot. But she liked to deny another guy in our class even more. I was sitting there one day with my legs crossed and the man v style and she just walked up and sat on my lap. I just went along with it since I knew she was just taunting the other guy. But my D did not understand the prank. He cast his enchantments and buff spells and prepared for battle. She jumped up and screamed and proceeded to let the entire class know I had gotten a boner. This class was right before we all dismissed for electives so soon enough the entire grade knew. I still got it for that years later. Until I graduated high school. Edit. I look nothing like this guy. But I thought I should show how my legs were crossed. Oh god. I used to work at a terrible shoe store that I'm not going to name. They treat their employees like it. And it was just an all around bad place to work. For the sake of the story. We'll call it journeys. So the manager and I are working one day, both of us working 12 hours because they refuse to hire more employees even though we are severely understaffed, and a regular comes in. This guy is an African American male about 5 feet 10 with a mental disability. He also happens to be homosexual. He also sexual advances at every guy he comes across, and has had to be removed from the mall on several occasions. He normally has a social worker of some sort with him, but today he was on his own. So he comes in and starts talking to us. Today he actually is behaving pretty well, making smaller talk and whatnot. Then out of nowhere, he looks me dead in the eye and asks are we friends? I freeze for a second, but I'm not a total asshole and I don't hate the dude. So I respond with yeah man. We're friends and give him a high five. Here's the bad part. He leans over and gives my manager a hug. Not a friend hug. But a full on pull me clothes and grab bass hug. It's worth noting that he was wearing sweet pants. And when he pulled back. He had the hugest erection I have ever seen on a human being. Porn not excluded. He turns to me like he's gonna hug me. And I nope the duck out of there like my life was in danger. Which it very well may have been. If that thing hit me in the head or something I was a goner. TL. DR. Almost met my end at the hands of a mythical raging tarred boner. They're only awkward if you let them be awkward. Strut that it's son. I still remember being in biology class in 8th grade. Just sitting at a desk doing some class walk. And bam. Raging wood. To my defense. There was a fine ass girl sitting across from me. And she was a girl with grown woman titties. All of a sudden. I hear from the desk about 10 feet across the room. This chick Misha call out. Ooh ugh. Whoopty whoops got a hard on. Damn you sweet pants and boxers. Damn you. Why you got wood over there? Having to think fast. All I could reply is. Why you looking? She got real quiet after that. First time I kissed a girl was after we came back from Disneyland. Magical. Right? We held hands and she gave me a quick kiss on the cheek. My D felt like it was going to rip my jeans open got a good one. Was fooling around with my girlfriend in high school at her house when we were home alone. She gave me a wicked titty twister. Shortly later we were going at it on the couch when her mom pulls in. I quickly dress and tuck in the boner and the waistband of the shorts. Girlfriend says to her her mom look what I did to San 89 she then proceeds to lift my shirt to show the titty twister wound I received. All her mom sees is where an inch or two of my hard member was exposed from the waistband up. She angrily stormed off. Awkwardness ensued. First period co-ed gym class. Athletic shorts hide nothing. The first time I kissed a girl I got a raging hard on. She had been flirting with me all night. Playfully. Not I wanna duck your brains out flirting. So I was already kind of wound up. Then it happened and all the unsexy thoughts and clenching other muscles wouldn't make it go away. It was hard to hide too as I was wearing shorts. I used to go to cadets where there was this girl maybe 15 or so and a couple of years older than me. She was a sergeant who took drill inspections. Without fail I would get the strongest boner when she was doing this. I used to tape my ID down beforehand to hide it as best as possible. Once. During prom. 
My girlfriend and I were riding in the back of a van to the high school. We were in a group. And she decided to put her hand on the inside of my leg and dangerously close to the LZ. Within 5 minutes I was at full sail and it went down the pant leg and was touching her hand. Luckily, she just looked at me and winked. Mission success. There was that time when one became Speaker of the United States House of Representatives. Sigh. So back in 8th grade I was in English class. And the teacher had the lights turned out so we could see the projector. I was wearing one of my most favorite shirts. One that was as soft as silk. But it was cotton. A lie. And it was one of those moments that we had to walk up to the front of the class to get a book. I hadn't really been paying attention to the great feeling in my crotch so. Without further inquiry I stood up walked past the teacher to get my book out of the book rack. Only. When I got up there. Had I noticed my zipper was not zipped. I looked down to see a raging boner sticking out of shorts with a very soft shirt tinted out. So I just kinda grabbed my book and walked back to my chair trying to cover it from the front. Street down and adjusted myself. I think the teacher seen it. I don't know about my classmates though. I never heard a peep from them. TL. Doctor teacher saw the cotton tent. Did every other guy hold their coat over their crotch when the bell went for the end of class at that age of 15? I'll tell a friend's story too since he isn't on Reddit. High school football game in Mississippi. So this is important. The stands are filled with every possible person that could attend. My county's schools are pretty poor in all honesty. So no one has the money to just replace bleachers until they need to. Well. Tonight they got the reason. The stands collapse. It sounds a lot worse than it truly was. No one got hurt or anything. But it was still enough to make sure there was a huge pile of people on the ground. So my friend was apparently sitting in close proximity to one of the few hot girls in our area when this all happened because she ended up directly on top of him while the people on top of them were moving. Insta Bona. The way he described it to me was, there was no way she didn't know. This wasn't even one you could just walk off. It took a good while for her to be able to get off of him. After she was able to. He just walked away and I don't know that he ever spoke to her again. Didn't realize I had any awkward boner stories until people started telling me I did. My high school years is my awkward boner story. Not me but a friend got a lap dance by this chick at a school event. The dance only lasted like 5 seconds but video evidence showed he was rocking a massive boner. That video has reached something like 50 people at our school. So a few years back I was in quite possibly the most awkward situation ever. You see. When I run I always used to wear compression shorts. Then. One day at cross country practice. I decided not to wear compression shorts for a change. Worst decision ever. It was also a really hot day. So none of us wore shirts. So we went out for our run. And I was fine for the first few minutes or so. Then. I really started to feel everything down there flopping around. Which was a weird feeling. Then before you know it I'm starting to get hard and I'm freaking out. Within a few seconds I'm hard and I don't know what to do. Basically I'm running along the side of the road with nothing but scrawny running shorts on and with a boner. So I'm trying to cover it up. But there's no shirt. No nothing to help. At this point I just bail and say I have to go to the bathroom. Peel off towards the porta potty and spend 5 minutes in there waiting while I calm down. I then run the mile back to our stuff. Find the nearest bathroom. And put my compression shorts on. That I brought just in case. Then proceeded to act like nothing happened when they all got back. Just said I finished on my own. No one said anything or gave me awkward looks or anything. It was never mentioned again. And I don't think they really even noticed. Since I was in the back of the pack. One of the most awkward moments of my life though. TL. Doctor running along with nothing but scrawny shorts on. Pop a boner and freak out. One time when I was like 11 and just hitting puberty. I left my sister's volleyball game to go use the restroom and accidentally walked into the ladies room. There were like 4 hot 17 year olds and they're changing out from play rehearsal and were in underwear. Which was basically like my fantasy. To see my sister's scantily clad friends. I popped one and basically stood there for like 2 minutes before they noticed me and still didn't do anything. Then they noticed Pinocchio's nose and got all pissed and kicked me out. I went to a catholic high school. 
The girl's high school uniform was a kilt and button up shirt and they all rolled up the kilt a bit at the top to make it short as possible. This is still the hottest group of females I have seen in my life. It was in high school in about 1987 when I was in grade 10. We were at a mass in the gym for a special holy day of some variety. Masses were always the most boring thing for me even though growing up Catholic I took all the sacraments as I grew and was even an altar boy but I never believed any of it. Anyway there were a few girls up front, choir, service, reading liturgy, I forget, and my mind started to wander. I immediately though better of it, but at 15 years old it was way too late. I tried to lose it for like 10 minutes, but to no avail. Then they called for communion and I though okay. I'll just get up like everyone else and no one will notice I'll never forget the next thing that was said. We'll do this one row at a time to keep things orderly. Eek. I walked out to communion in front of the row behind who were all laughing at me. When I got back to my seat I had lost it. But just for fun I decided to see if I could get it back even after the embarrassment. The answer was yes. Immediately. I miss being 15. 11th grade winter formal. I squatted at the beginning and split my pants. I then got grinded on by my high school crush with the split. Needless to say grinding with minimal pant interference means awkward boner tugging at your dream girl's dress. Some girl asked me to explain boners to her. During the early years of adolescence, I often got boners at church or church related functions. It was the worst. I was supposed to be concentrating on the services but always had my attention diverted by random boners. Man. This one really sucked. I wrestled in high school and we were about to start practice so coach sits us all in front of him. I was right in the front. Now this is where he takes like 10 minutes to explain what we're gonna do. I wanna say one minute into this thing I suffered an attack of random boneritis. Now normally my go to would be the waistband tuck but being in the front I had no chance to do this without it being obvious so I think random thoughts. Nothing. Finally coach wants me to face my true boner showing fear and says alright guys. Go practice your shoots. I kinda slide across to the other side of the mats while sitting down because I'm wearing my pay shorts and if I stand. It's over with. Mid slide. Coach says that old black hole. Get your ass up and go shoot. My face turned pale as I realized the end was near. I got halfway up before my coach realized what was going on and yelled damn it. Take your time. Back then in my head I thought that he was thinking that what kind of scumbag would raise the flag in a wrestling practice but I now know that he was once a teenager and knew how to save a kid from years of getting it. TL. DR. Wrestling coach saw Vlad the Impaler and waited until he went to sleep. I've told this one before but. Here goes. So me and my girlfriend are out camping with her parents and we're all winding down for the day and getting ready for bed. We are in a camper trailer so there are two pretty good sized beds, my girlfriend's parents are in one, me and her are in the other, at opposite ends of the camper. Anyways, lights go out and everyone is laying down. I roll over and my gf starts quietly kissing and fondling me. Of course my 17 year old d is intrigued, then I hear her mom ask, BMX 4 days. Can you please shut the window? Sure. No worries. I say. Figuring it's dark and she won't notice my hard on as I make my way to the middle of the camper to shut it in nothing but my now stretched out boxes. Oh. Let me turn on the light for you. Duck. So there I am standing in the middle of the camper. Flag flying high. With my GF's mom looking me dead in the eye. Yeah. It was a little awkward was hanging out with this girl I thought was pretty. I thought she was into me too. But I guess not. She had to go home to do chores or summit. We're standing outside her house. She goes to give me a hug. Insta boner from nowhere. She noticed and instantly backed away. And the second she did, my bullet traitorous wang decided to unbonify itself. Just kind of say sorry. And that I had no clue why that happened. Never hung out with her again. At camp I was with my friend at camp. We decided to go to the rock wall during free time. So as the counselor is demonstrating how to put on the harness. She is wearing yoga pants. I see a little lump forming. I gave him the benefit of doubt. Until he started hiding it. Then I realized I had come prepared. As he climbed I yelled climb hard man. Just don't stop. It gets hard about halfway and it keeps getting harder. But you can do it. And things of that nature. 
Much lulls and embarrassment was had that night. I regret nothing. I went to prom and got an insta boner from slow dancing with my date because I'm significantly taller than her and saw her tatars. Thank god for basketball sliders. I went to an arts high school. My mother forced me to take dance as a PE. Every class I would have to sit out for 5 minutes every 30 minutes of dancing with them. At least the girls knew I wasn't gay. I was getting my physical done for school one time and I had to go to the doctor to get a prostate exam and at the doctor asked me to drop my pants and drawers I had just an erection that wouldn't go down no matter what I did. The weird part was that my doctor was checking me from the front so as soon as I dropped my pants my boner was directly in her face and then she laughs and says wow, you are growing up so fast. 7th grade. Thought girls would go out with me if my D was bigger. Walked around with massive bone of the whole time. I was such a dumbass. Didn't happen to me directly, but to my best friend. During middle school, he was a very awkward teenager. And he truly did not give a duck about what anybody thought about him. He was always angry at nothing. One day, during science class, he is asked to go up to the board to write down an answer. Being a 13 year old boy, he's got a massive hard on for no reason at all. He declines the request to go to the board. After a solid 45 seconds of bantering, he finally just shrugged his shoulders, said, alright, and stood up in all of his glory, mesh shorts, Rager. Greatly offended, the teacher sent him to the office. He got a detention. In high school, there was a kid who would always get hard ons during weightlifting class, and we were wearing the short gym shorts. The worst was when he was bench pressing, laying on his back. Every time he lifted the weights, his boner would stand at attention. All the jocks would gather around and make fun of him. Called him boner boy. Everyone had a good laugh. He took it pretty well. I think he just shrugged it off. Few weeks later, he got lost in the mountains. In a tragic snowboarding accident, he froze to death. Nobody is laughing now.